Hey you guys, it's Jen at Jen's Haunts. And before I get any further into this, I wanted to give you a look at the paint. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. I would really appreciate your support. So here is the paint for my second holiday door for Nightmare Before Christmas. I think I did pretty good. I really looked everywhere for pictures of this egg. I watched the movie. And it's such a quick thing, or the picture is blurry because it's moving. So this is my interpretation. I did the best I could. It doesn't have to be perfect. I always try to keep in mind that I'm pr really trying to impress an eight-year-old. So hopefully I did well enough. I'm going to be doing the texture today, and I'll get the doorknob on there. So next time you see this, it'll probably be done. Um, but it will look very similar to the one I just finished. So my first holiday door was 4th of July and the timing was good because I found these at Michael's and they were just paintable. It was just wood. So this is my first door and the texture on the sec one, second one is going to end up being a lot like this. Except for at the top of the second one I've done shapes of eggs and like grass or shrubbery. And when I'm done texturing it and um, blending in the colors... I'll highlight that it is an egg a little bit so that people kind of get it. But you see what I've done with the driveway sealant here is I've got it kind of raised and then I just dry brushed it. So this next one will be um, pretty similar to this. I know that from the pictures the lines are pretty up and down and the lines do seem to go through the egg with some sort of texture. I'm not going to texture the egg. I'm going to leave the egg just like it is, stick a doorknob on it. Um, I will texture the rest of the tree, and there's the shape of my eggs and shrubbery. Once that's painted and highlighted, you'll really be able to tell what that is. And I think people will get what I'm trying to incorporate into the top and just kind of make it make sense. So the bottom here, I don't know what I cut into this foam for, but boy, was that an error in judgment because then I had to put it back to try to make the door. So that's okay. Once it's textured, I think I'll be able to hide that pretty well. And I'll be doing paper mache eggs for that. And I'll seal those up with the driveway sealant. I think I'm just going to start with a balloon and see where I end up. But my first egg might be kind of big because I am going to be trying to hide that. And then it'll probably need to have some sort of support. Um, you know, maybe I'll need to finish the egg and put some PVC inside to make sure that it uh, stays in the ground or even a wood base painted black would probably work but I'll do the eggs just like you see them in the movie um, not really fancy um, just the correct colors and uh, maybe a little bigger than the ones in the movie so that's it for now you guys I hope you're doing okay and I hope you're having a great rest of your week I've got five more doors to do which means I really need to start getting them done because even if I did one a week that's going to put me in the second to the last week of September which is cutting it kind of close because I was thinking I was going to make a couple other things as well so I guess I'll be busy around here but this is my update for today I hope you guys are ha having a great week and I will talk to you later